You've probably heard by now that the Archbishop has asked us to close down our public gatherings in Anglican churches across Sydney because of the coronavirus situation. This is something that uh, staff at St Mark's have been planning for. And so uh, I've sent everybody at St Mark's an email with the strategies that we'll be implementing for the foreseeable future uh, so that we can continue to minister to one another. These are challenging times though. Uh, where the church, where the assembly gathering is in our spiritual DNA. We're a body of members. We're supposed to be together. And so this is disappointing and these are challenging times. But challenging times uh, are also an opportunity for God's glory to be displayed in the response of his people. And so we've got neighbours, some of whom are frightened, some of whom have needs. And so hold out the hope of Christ to those who are frightened and show the love of Christ to those who have needs. In our church family, there are people, some of whom are frightened, some of whom have needs. Let's encourage one another and let's the body of Christ care for one another in those needs. Fathers, uh, take responsibility for pastoring and discipling your families. Families, care for our singles who are going to be particularly vulnerable at this time. Singles, care for families who are going to be wrangling kids in unexpected circumstances. There are all sorts of ways that we can and must be caring for one another, even though we can't meet in the ways that we normally do. Uh, in Hebrews the other week, we read, Therefore, holy brothers who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, the apostle and high priest whom we confess. In the midst of the chaos and the uncertainty that's going on, it's important that that's where we fix our thoughts. We've got to fix our thoughts on Jesus, who is our apostle and our high priest. And as we fix our thoughts on him and we let that guide the actions and the interactions, the choices that we make in the chaos and the uncertainty, that's how we bring glory to God in these difficult times. I'm praying for you guys. Please be praying for me and read the email.